At the end of each month, I go over in full transparency how my automated trading systems are performing. Are they making money or are they losing money? Today's video, we're gonna be going over July 2025 and how my automated futures trading systems performed. Before we get started, hello, my name is Jacob Amaral. I build, code, test, trade, automated trading systems on the futures market. Right now I'm trading just over 30 different trading systems on the futures market in an automated fashion to make a return. If you wanna learn more about algo trading, quant trading, building trading systems, see the links in the description below. And yeah, let's get started. So for July 2025, let's make it that big. We made, I'm gonna do a percentage basis. You can see the numbers on there, but percentage wise, we, we made just over 1% uh, for the month of July, specifically 1.2% based on the capital I'm trading with my account. Uh, so very profitable month. Uh, for the month we had see 66 trades, a lot less trades than we were seeing in the previous months. And that's because I've been taking out a lot of intraday systems and trading more diversified markets, more different sectors and starting to see, see success with that. Uh, so a lot less trades, 54% uh, trade win rate. Don't think it's a great metric, but I know some of you enjoy watching or seeing some of the stats. Uh, averaging three trades a day, we had a max drawdown of I think of that on a percentage basis, 15,000, if that's 1.2%. Uh, so a drawdown of what, 0.6.7% of the net profit, but we did uh, succeed at the end of the month. Uh, any other stats that would be interesting, averaging three trades a day? Uh, I think that's about it. Largest winning trade, 13,000, largest losing trade, 10,000. There's the equity curve. For you to look at, you can see near the end of the month actually really picked up. Uh, we had some really good trades that last week of July, including some great copper trades, natural gas trades, uh, a lot of good good trades in the energies and metals markets for my portfolio. So I've been really focusing on diversifying, trading different sectors, and getting away from the whole intraday Nasdaq uh, E mini uh, S and P E mini uh, cluster that I was used to be trading. Like I said, that really worked well in 2023 for me, but 2024 and this year has really fallen off. I still trade intraday systems. They're just slowly kind of getting cut out if they're losing money. And I've been replacing them with uh, swing trading systems in other markets diversifying. So that seems to be working out and let's continue that. So 1.2% for the month. Uh, S&P for the month was, uh, let me see. I want, I want July 1st. S&P for the month was uh, up 2.28%, so underperformed at the S&P on absolute returns and probably risk-adjusted returns as well. Uh, so not too happy about that. I like beating the S&P, ideally on the risk-adjusted standpoint. It probably had a lower drawdown, um, but yeah. Can't complain with a green month. And for August, launching a lot more new systems. I'm taking out one system. It's actually a gold system that's been losing money. Uh, I'm adding actually 11 new systems. So net netting 10 new systems for August. I think I'll be over 30, uh, over 40 systems uh, for August and focusing on other sectors. So uh, mostly agricultures, um, no metal strategies. These are off the top of my head. So I'm just trying to think of what's, what's being added. I think it's just agricultures currencies and softs are being added for August. So excited for that, uh, excited for kind of uh, se uh, sector diversification and we're seeing success in that. So yeah, great month overall. Let me know in the comments below how you did for the month with your automated trading systems. Did you make money? Did you lose money? Did you beat the S&P? Would love to hear your thoughts. I know some members in my community, one of our members, Hex actually, uh, was up over 8% uh, for the month and is actually gonna be taking uh, August I don't know if he's gonna be taking August off in trading or reducing his size, but he has had a great month. Uh, so really proud of him on that. And yeah, let me know how you did. Love to, love to hear in the comments below on how your trading systems did and how I can help make them better. That's all, we'll see you next week. Have a good one guys, bye-bye.